engine and parts back from the machine shop. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. It needs to be painted really badly. Really badly. Oh my. That's not good. Oh, that's so not good. Oh, no. What's going on? I don't like that. This must be sprayed down immediately.
oil pump for the Mustang. Got our uh, cutting guide. Now, let me take an angle grinder with a fresh flat disc and power got power. Clear our space here. Make sure there's no flammables. Right within distance. Well, here's a parts box that we probably shouldn't dump a bunch of metal powder into. Plan is to knock some of this off for clearance for one of the crank studs or the main cap studs. So, uh, gradually cut it down bit by bit until we clearance enough to get it lined up even. Test our fitment. So far the oil pan is clearing, but we will see how that goes in a few minutes. Alrighty, so the whole thing about uh, measure twice, cut once. Probably should take that to heart. As you can see, we got our nice little shave up there. Not even near where we need to be uh, clearancing. So, down here... When we're lined up, it's nearly off by maybe, what I'd say, 230 seconds or so of an inch. So, we're just trying to chop that corner, not this corner. The amount that we have had to clearance off of this oil pump is astonishing, the fact that we have not gone through. I am quite amazed. Either way, make sure we're all good to install now. Got here. It is. It is barely. Took off quite a bit with that last zap off, and we have quite the clearance now, so we're going to get that on there and see how that goes. ARP drive shaft going in. So, install it with the retainer going down. Stick it right into that hole, and that retainer stops, essentially will stop the stick from falling out the bottom end when you pull out the distributor or when you're putting it together just like this that is the oil pump drive shaft now we'll get our bolts in see how well we clearance at this point Unfortunately, ARP does not supply a stud for the pickup tube. However, when you line the pickup tube up with these holes, it wants to sit flat with the girdle not on top of the stud. What we're about to do is unbolt just one nut and then three sequence torque it back to the spec. And we'll hit every other one kind of lightly as we go. But very likely that's the only one that's going to budge. Got our 13 millimeter on the breaker bar. Let's see what we get here.
how we keep it because we're busy. What's up, everyone? Dom's with us today. We got the new oil pan. Uh, we had some fitment issues with this one. Essentially, it has an additional crank scraper, which is a small panel that runs along the side of this guy to allow for the crank to rub up against it and scrape the oil off, I suppose. However, the windage tray, or the main girdle, already does that, so essentially the one that was in that oil pan just runs into the existing one. So that was one issue. Got the new oil pan. We'll have to send that one back, which is all right. because a lot of this ARP hardware is 12 point. Do that momentarily. This is a Melling 68HV or a M68HV for the part number. It's going to be the high volume milling oil pump option for the Ford Small Block 302. Essentially, it does look like it can be the exact same piece here. M6600 D2 from Ford Racing. Gently screw this all the way back down in there. And I might pull it back out, put some thread lube on it. It is a little rough down there. And we'll send it all the way in, which is right there. Pull it all the way out. Try not to do that the most much as you can it's not real fun to drop your tools down in there get the right tool make sure that it's clean proper operation so let's 
trying to grab onto every which thing down there, of course. Is that is to be expected? Pull this out the rest of the way. count the return that this goes in here as well. fit either way we'll get that on and then we'll update you again
Alrighty guys, so essentially we got the windage tray back bolted down. We are not going to be using this mounting point here. However, we're just going to throw the pickup tube underneath here. We're going to torque this on down. Make sure that we get our assembly lube on these threads real good though. At this point, we have the oil pump now bolted to the pickup tube, so it'll just all go in as one unit. Just snake this oil pump on down through. The drive shaft is in, the pump is on, and the pickup tube is on the tab now. So we'll line up our gasket under the pump and put the bolts back in again. since this is probably final assembly of the oil pump pickup tube setup. I just want to throw some more Loctite on these. I could not do that again. did tighten these pretty good before throwing it on here. Just kind of surprising that everything's fitting up real good still. However, I'm not complaining. <clears throat> Maybe do another half of a turn or so, but it's starting to get to the range of uncomfortability. Another half turn right there. I'd say that's going to be enough for that thread to eat on both ends. Might be more than we even need up here. So 30 foot pounds was there. We're gonna go ahead and up that up to 60, 55 to 60.
65 foot pounds. All right, we'll take it. Alrighty, there's 75 foot pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Click and click. <laughs> 